world is pondering over this mystery of stress management. How do you manage stress? Somebody says you do yoga and stress will be managed. Somebody says you do tai chi and stress will be managed. Somebody says you listen to soothing music. Somebody says you do meditation. 5000 years ago Lord Krishna had said how to manage stress. we discuss that detachment from the world depends on the intellect development of love for god depends on the intellect and the mess in our life is because of lack not of material intellect but spiritual intellect So if we could just set the intellect right with some spiritual intelligence our life would be on even keel. Now how do you develop the SQ? One thing is obvious. You listen to spiritual discourses, read the scriptures, that is obvious. You gather spiritual knowledge and wisdom. But there's something beyond that. spiritual knowledge and wisdom is not enough what actually corrupts our intellect is the attachment to the world what distorts our discrimination is our worldly attachment if only we could detach the intellect it would then see things in reality and accord the appropriate importance to appropriate things but attachment creates a halo around the object of attachment if you are attached to ice creams then the intellect lifts up the ice cream of oh, divine ice cream so why is our intellect corrupted it is the attachment to the world that is corrupting it. and how do you unleash this big machinery inside now i'm not talking about the mind i'm talking about the intellect by developing detachment vyavasayatmika buddhi ekeh kuru nandana bahu shakhaya nantash buddhayo vyavasayina shri krishna says arjun if your intellect is many branched it will be irresolute the firm resolve to move on this path will not happen but for one whose intellect is nischayatmak firmly resolved that person moves ahead like an arrow on this path so what we need to do then to awaken our best self is to detach ourselves that is the message of the bhagavad gita karmanne vadhikaraste ma phale shukada chana arjun do your work shri krishna is not saying you abdicate your duty do your work karmanne vadhikaraste ma phale shu don't be attached to results so he is telling us how to live in the world without attachments you see the whole world is pondering over this mystery of stress management how do you manage stress once i was in chicago so the iit alumni association of midwest which is based in chicago they came to know that swami ji is also a fellow alumnus so they invited me for their monthly meeting about 50 60 of them used to meet every month so i said what do you want me to speak about you want me to speak about god no 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 that is you know old fashion we are all ceos and all not god to speak about something more relevant to us so i said you choose they said speak about stress management i said obviously if you don't believe in god you have to believe in stress you have to believe in something 
So then I did a search on Google on stress management and I came to know that nobody knows how to manage stress. Somebody says you do yoga and stress will be managed. Somebody says you do tai chi and stress will be managed. Somebody says you listen to soothing music. Somebody says you do meditation. Everybody is bajaying their own dhapli. <laughs> then I went back to the Bhagavad Gita. 5,000 years ago, Lord Krishna had said how to manage stress. You, all you need to do is become detached from results. What stresses us is not hard work. This is the big misunderstanding. You get stressed because you are invested in outcomes. That is all. If you are not attached to the outcome, you can work from morning to night. And if the name of God on your lips, you'll be not stressed at all. One student came to me, Swamiji, I have my entrance exam eligibility for something in March and I am totally nervous, stressed out. That was the month of November. So I said, why are you stressed out? Because you have to work so hard. Yes, 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 yes. I said, absolutely not. Hard work doesn't stress you out. You are stressed out because you have got attached to the outcome. Now, the, your school has an internal assessment exam. You know, in India, they used to have the internal assessment before you went for the board exam. So, internal assessment, everybody went without any stress. And the board exam, everybody was stressed. Why? It was the attachment to the outcome. So I said that by getting stressed and nervous, are you able to study better? No, no, my mind is all agitated. I can study less. Efficiency has reduced. I said, then why are you attached to the outcome? Listen from Sri Krishna, the science of work. He says, focus on the effort. And in any case, the results are not in your hands. The only thing in your hand is the effort. So put in your best and leave to God all the rest. He is not saying become lazy. He is saying you just put in your best. So I like to call this NATO. Not attached to outcome. See, when you follow this NATO principle, because your mind will be free, you will be doing your works even better than before. But immediately people ask me, Swamiji, how do you know you are not in the corporate environment? You don't realize the cutthroat competition that exists. If I am not attached to outcomes, I'll lose my professional edge there. I say, no. If you are focused on the efforts, you will perform even better. What affects our effectivity is the stress of being attached to outcomes. Take a look at a doctor. He is a world-class surgeon. He has conducted 5,000 surgeries. But today his son has had an appendix burst. Immediate surgery is required. People say, you do the surgery. No, 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 Baba, I will not do it. Why not? He's my child. My intellect will not work properly. I'm attached. The intellect will get affected. Let me call my friend. You come and do the surgery. See, no surgeon will operate on their near relative. They know the attachment will distort the intellect. So I'm only saying that by being detached, you will work better than before. Yogina karma kurvanti sangam tyaktvatma shuddhaye. Lord Krishna says, who is a yogi? One who can do chakrasan or mayurasan? No. Sri Krishna says, karma kurvanti, who is doing works. Sangam tyaktva, no attachment. Like Dhruv was a king, Prahlad, Yudhishthir, Prithu, Ambarish, Vibhishan, they were all kings. 
Now as a king you have to do sam dam dand bhed to manage this whole kingdom. So they were working and yet they were detached. And that is the science of work. So where is the attachment of the mind? Invariably it is in the family members. Not in the whole world. In the whole world you are doing acting. Aye, aye, kaise aana hua? Very wonderful acting. In the whole world. But the mind's attachment is to the few at home. And God says, look, don't be attached there also. Do your duty to them. But not this mental attachment. You will become de-stressed. So immediately people again counter question. Swamiji, if we are not attached, how will we do our duty? If the father is not attached to the family members, then he will neglect them. Not really. The reason why duty gets distorted is because of attachment. Why? Look, the mother is attached to the child. The child's stomach is upset. The doctor has say, said, Bhai, don't give any heavy stuff. But the child is saying, Mommy, I want ice cream. No, beta, doctor has said no ice cream. Mommy, I want ice cream. The mother says, my loving child, I cannot see his crying. All right, beta, I'll give you ice cream. When papa comes, don't tell him that you've eaten ice cream. So she gave ice cream and that child's situation became more serious. Why did this happen? The mother was not able to do her duty, which is to discipline the child because of attachment. If there was a nurse, she would say what the doctor has said is for best interest. That is what you will get. So what I'm saying is that if you are detached, it's not that your worldly duties will all go for a six. You will do them even better than before. Hence, if you wish to unleash this intellect's ability and unlock the key to the inner treasures. Then the sixth secret is detachment. For the upliftment of mankind, Jagat Guru Shri Kripaluji Maharaj, who was an embodiment of spiritual knowledge and divine bliss, extracted and reconciled the wisdom from the enormous ocean of Vedic scriptures to spread Maharaji's mission to planetary scales. Swami Mukhadananji has undertaken a monumental task of building Jagat Guru Kripalu University. Understanding the needs of present day humanity, Swamiji's vision combines cutting edge scientific disciplines with ancient Vedic wisdom, making JKU a one-of-a-kind blend. The university will encompass the areas of Vedic philosophy, yoga, contemporary sciences, technologies, holistic medicine and arts. Construction of this millennial complex is at full swing on a 100-acre land in Orissa, India. It will play a crucial role in uplifting physical, mental and spiritual well-being of millions of people worldwide. Donate or raise funds for this noble cause. Every contribution will have a huge impact.